good morning student how are you all i hope everyone is happy god bless you and your family in the previous section we saw about structure of human brain human brain divided in three parts cerebrum cerebellum medulla obliquita cerebrum the cerebrum is the anterior part of the brain it is it is the largest part of the brain and it's divided two halls the right and left hemisphere functions of cerebrum cerebrum is the center of the intelligence and it's concerned with learning memory emotion and reasoning it also coordinate our involuntary activities and make us feel sensation like pain and heat second one cerebellum cerebellum it's smaller than cerebrum and it's located below it toward the back of the skull functions of cerebellum the cerebellum coordinate both voluntary and involuntary movement it maintains the body posture and balance and help us learn new movements such as dance or playing in musical instrument third one medulla obliquita the medulla obliquita is the lowest part of the brain stem it lies in front of the cerebellum at a slightly lower level and it's connected to the spinal cord functions of medulla obliquita it control involuntary function such as heart beat breathing sneezing coughing swallowing vomiting movement of the alimentary canal and secretion by glands i welcome everyone back to my class if you like to read in bed then you probably have a lamp on your night stand that lamp runs on electricity when you turn the lamp on electricity runs from on outlet to your lamp through a power cord if you were to look inside that cord you would see the wire that carry the electric current did you know that your body has a power cord that runs all day long and nerve has to be plugged in it's called your spinal cord so today we are going to discuss about spinal cord and instead of wire it contain nerves that travel to and from your brain those nerve carry information by way of electric signals or impulse your brain and spinal cord work together to make sure everything runs smoothly in your body together they make up your central nervous system what does the spinal cord do the spinal cord's main function is to carry electrical signals between your brain and the rest of your body those electrical messages let your brain know what's going on your body and also allow your brain to tell your muscles and organs what to do your spinal cord also control your reflex a reflex it's a quick action that your body does without telling the brain did you ever touch your hot stove and quickly pull your hand away even before you could think oh that is hot that is a reflex the sensation of heat that was picked up by your finger traveled to your spinal cord instead of wasting the time it would take to carry that message to your brain your spinal cord sent a message to your home muscles to pull away your spinal cord it's a delicate structure but luckily it's protected by a bony structure called the vertebral column or backbone the vertebral column it's not a single bone instead it's made up of small movable bones called vertebrae there are seven cervical vertebrae in your neck 
12 thoracic vertebrae in your upper back and 5 lumbar vertebrae in your low back. There are 31 pair of spinal nerve that come off the spinal cord and pass through hole in the vertebral column. The nerves that come off the spinal cord make up your peripheral nervous system. They link your body parts to your central nervous system. Now we will going to discuss about peripheral nervous system. Inside the wall of your house, there are a lot of wires. The system of wires allows electricity to flow through your house. So you can do things like turn on the light and plug things in. Your body has its own set of electrical wire called nerves. These nerves travel to every part of your body. They carry important messages. These messages tell your brain what's going on around you and tell your muscles and other body parts what to do. When we put this nerve together, we call them your peripheral nervous system. Peripheral is a pronounced push refer all types of nerves. Your peripheral nervous system work with your central nervous system which is made up of your brain and spinal cord. In a way, the nerves of your peripheral nerve system are like male. Carries because their job is to carry messages between your brain and your body. There are two types of male carries or nerves at work. Some peripheral nerves carry messages from your sense organ like your skin, eyes, ears, tongue and nose back toward your central nervous system. These are called sensory nerve. Other peripheral nerves carry orders from your brain to your muscles and organ. These are called motor nerve or effector nerve. Now move on. Parts of peripheral nervous system. Your peripheral nervous system is made up of two parts. First one, somatic nervous system and second one, autonomic nervous system. You are going to the bowling alley tonight with your friends. Do you know what muscles you need to use to bowl? How do your muscles know when and how to move to get the ball down the alley? The somatic nervous system is very important in getting that ball down the alley, especially if you want to a straight. The somatic nervous system is a part of the peripheral nervous system which is the entire nervous system outside of the brain and the spinal cord. Specifically, the somatic nervous system is responsible for movement of voluntary muscles and the process known as reflex arc. The system carries nerve impulse back and forth between the central nervous system which is the brain and the spinal cord and the skeletal muscles, skin and sensory organs. Parts of the somatic nervous system. The somatic system is made up of two different types of neuron, which are also called nerve cells. The two types of neuron are sensory neuron or afferent neurons which transmit message to the central nervous system and motor neuron also called efferent neurons which relay information from the central nervous system to other area of the body. A neuron 
as a body and an axon the body of the neuron is located in the central nervous system and the axon is embedded in the skeletal muscles sensory organs or the skin now we will speak about how the somatic nervous system fits into the peripheral nervous system within the peripheral nervous system there are 12 pair of the cranial nerves and 31 pair of the spinal nerves which are made up of sensory neurons and motor neurons some now pairs have only sensory cells some have only motor cells and still other have both sensory and motor cells the somatic nerve cells are either somatic or autonomic now move on functions of the somatic nervous system the primary role of the somatic nervous system is to connect the central nervous system and to the organ muscles and skin this allows you to perform complex movement and behaviors the somatic neuron carry messages from the outer area of the body having to with the sense it's like a passage way from the environment to the central nervous system sensory or afferent neuron carry impulse to the central nervous system and and the brain after begin processed by the central nervous system the somatic motor or afferent neuron take the signal back to the muscles and the sensory organs some of the nerve pair have only sensory neuron such as those that are involved in smell and vision others have only motor neuron such as those involved with eyeball movement not vision finally some nerve pair have both sensory and motor neuron such as those involved in taste and some aspect of swallowing now move on autonomic nervous system have you ever come face to face with something that is scared the living the lights out of you well if you have then you probably know your body immediate reaction your heart rate will increase and your heart will pound out of your chest your sense such as sight hearing and sometime even smell will be put on full alert your body will automatically decide whether you need to leave the situation immediately or if it is time to stay and defend yourself against whatever threat you have encountered this responsible or all part of the autonomic nervous system ans and have been put in place by the body to keep us all from danger whenever possible your autonomic nervous system it's a important for several reason it keep your cardiac muscles and smooth muscle regulate it also regulate various aspect of your body gland depending on the types of environment and condition it is responsible for the fight or light responsible you automatically have been face with the frightening or dangerous situation the autonomic nervous system it's almost always involuntary so you will have difficult time trying to control its response when there are triggered there are three divisions of the autonomic nervous system sympathetic nervous system parasympathetic nervous system and enteric nervous system each works a bit differently but uh, they are all vital to ensuring your body remains intact and safe today i give 10 hard words the first one spinal cord second one vertebral column third one peripheral nerve fourth one somatic nerve fifth one 
ஆட்டோனமிக் நர்வ் சிக்ஸ்த்து ஒன் ஸ்டிமுலஸ் செவன்த்து ஒன் வேலண்டினரி எயித் ஒன் செரிபரோ ஸ்பைனல் ஃப்ளூயிடு ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் ஸ்பைனல் கால் ஸ்பைனல் கார்டு வர்டிபரல் காலம் பெரிபரல் நர்வ் சமாட்டிக் நர்வ் ஆட்டோனமிக் நர்வ் ஸ்டிமுலஸ் வேலண்டினரி செரிபரல் ஸ்பைனல் ஃப்ளூயிடு today biology assignment explain in brief learn all the question answer thank you